Welcome back, and as promised, uh, Ed and James were here. So um, James is from Motec, and Ed's the one who's been doing our wiring harness. Um, they basically arrived on uh, Monday there and started working on putting the harness together there on the engine. And meanwhile, I started working on putting together the different components that make up the belt drive system. So here uh, you can see these oil seals that need to go in the first part, and this is part for the upper housing. So they need to go in there and it's a tight fit. So uh, the best way to put them in there is to press them in there using our press. So here you can see this is sped up obviously. Um, just basically just carefully pressing those in. And uh, after it was pressed in, I had to press it a little bit further in because there's a C-clip that actually holds them in place. So I just had a wood block there just so I could push it in the last, I guess it was quarter inch maybe or not even that. And there you can see it sort of recessed in there like that i will just get the focus there so you can see it's recessed in there a little bit and there's room for the c-clip there and so here's the c-clip going into place and not that it really needed the c-clip that bear, uh, that uh, seal was nicely pressed in there it wasn't coming out uh, anyway so that's um the first part together and as you can see already done the back side on there so uh, more to go on that still and so the guys got the harness in place and they were hooking up all the different uh, connectors for the sensors and things like that um, and getting everything dialed in. Uh, it was already, the, the harness had already been sorted out um, so it could be wired up to the ECU and there's the ECU sitting there which is the engine control unit for those wondering what ECU means. Uh, basically the computer to run everything. So you can see they were making progress on uh, getting that all wired up. And the next part on this uh, reduction drive system was to press that first component uh, into the main housing here and it has some uh, rubber o-ring seals there around there and that made a really snug fit so it, normally it would just slide into place but because those o-ring seals are there it need to be pressed anyway got that done and here's James uh, working on the, the laptop there with the Motec software and uh, just dialing in some of the parameters uh, in preparation for being able to uh, attempt to start the engine and initially they just disconnected the uh, cold side of the turbo so it was just fresh air going in the regular intake there. And there was a bunch more attempts and I'll just sort of shorten it up for you and ultimately we ran the battery down a little bit, picked up another battery real quick and uh, then we go from here. Woo! Kind of what we're looking for right there. Is that the first time it's done that? Uh -huh. Yeah, you caught the first one. Wow, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so once they got it dialed in, it didn't take long to get it started. And a bit of a rattle that you may have heard was actually um, one of the rattles was a little sensor that was sitting in the top of the engine mount frame there um, that was just basically not hooked up to anything and it was sort of rattling against the frame. Anyway, so the next step now is to see if we can get it um, up up to, uh, to the dyno, uh, bench dyno, and get it all tuned in and um, set up for, you know, run under load and uh, with the proper program in there and uh, just, you know, obviously test how much horsepower and, and uh, torque that it's making. So that's um, going to be the next step. So pretty happy with how this is uh, turning out finally. It's, you know, it's taken a long time to get this engine sorted out, but, you know, the last couple of months was dialing in the turbo system and all that sort of stuff getting all the plumbing done but you know just keep persevering and um, we've made it this far so we just keep going on now and I'll uh, see what we get to. And as you can see once it warmed up the smoke is gone and it's actually fairly quiet the turbos really do a good job of uh, silencing it. So back to the belt drive, you can see you've got that center section all pressed in there and the blue stuff there, that's the grease that we're using um, to lubricate the bearings and stuff. So I was using that to help it slide in. You see I've got the, that uh, fitting in there, which is where the oil transfers through for the governor uh, control for the prop because it goes in through there and then through the shaft um, out to the uh, governor. So now you can see I've got the actual next bearing race um, pushed in there or the main housing for the bearing that's pushed in there. So um, next step tomorrow is to put that bearing in there and um, then I've got to put the one in the other side here and then starting to close that out and be able to put the shaft through it. And if that wasn't enough progress for you, uh, Jeff was all ready now to uh, bond the roof on to the fuselage. So there you can see there's a whole bunch of high sole that's just sort of been mixed up and um, just sort of 
lay it on there on where the flange is there of the back part um, or the part of the um, aft bulkhead and so that just gets all um, spread out there or with a with a trowel like you've seen before when bond is stuff into place and uh, here the guys well guys me as well a few of us uh, lifted the roof up and uh, went and um, put it in place so you can see it's a uh, not really that heavy actually it's just sort of we wanted to carefully carry it across and lay it over the top of um, the high sole without sort of sliding it all around we wanted to sort of bring it in from the outside and then um, carefully put it on there so that it didn't sort of smear the high sole everywhere so anyway this is what happened this is how we did it And the high sole being put on uh, the mating flanges there on the lower side there along there where you see that sort of joggle where it's uh, black there that's being lowered into place and we also had the high sole on the door frame uh, lower sections there in the fuselage where the door frames um, made up to the lower half so once that went in you can see the actual high sole sort of pushes out there and uh, we've got it taped up there as well it's difficult to see the tape but there's tape across there so it doesn't you know get all over um, the uh, actual um, you know primer paint that's already on there and so the next step there was to basically put a whole bunch of rivets in place to uh, pull pull the different uh, join areas together so that's what uh, Jeff and I worked on there so anyway the roof is now bonded on and so it's not coming off so the next step here now I think is um, door inner door frames to be uh, bonded into place and then it'll be the windshield and then it'll be the keel or maybe the keel and then the windshield anyway there's a few steps but anyway that's our uh, update for the first half of this week and so thanks again for watching